The first half of our crossing from mainland Mexico to the Baja has been completely and utterly epic. We might be turning a two-day sail into a four-day sail, but we can't believe the magic that has come our way by just slowing down. Come along for the ride as we finish crossing the Gulf of California. I'm Kate, and this is my husband Mick, our kids, Thomas and Bentley. Five years ago, we had this crazy idea to travel the world with our kids, and never did we imagine our mode of transportation would be a sailboat. These are my parents. It's been their lifelong dream to sail across oceans. And so together, a dream was born. Come along with us as we learn, laugh, <laughs> I, play with, I play with boats, and explore. And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe. Good morning. Welcome to day three of crossing the Gulf of California or the Sea of Cortez. Yesterday was a very slow day, but probably one of the most epic days. Definitely the most epic passage day we've ever had. At 2 a.m. this morning, Nick and I looked at each other and after covering so much ground on day one and then only covering like 10 nautical miles on day two, we both were feeling pretty antsy to get some miles under our keel. So we turned the engine on at 2 a.m. It's now seven. We are finally beyond the halfway mark. We were like inching towards it <laughs> the whole day yesterday that we were drifting. Um, it really was only a couple miles away, but didn't get there until we started the engine. Just see nothing all around us still. It's a whole lot of nothing. A little cloudy today. Feels cold right now. But I'm sure the cloud will clear and the sun will come out. And it will be another beautiful day. I can feel the wind picking up. So I don't think we'll have the motor on for much longer. Unfortunately, it is coming straight from, sorry I'm distracted because there's a bird on our mast and it's a really funny looking bird. <laughs> um, unfortunately the wind is coming straight from where we want to go. So that will just mean we'll have some nice long tacks if we do get sailing again. That's all I have to report. very straight holding the camera. This is day three of the passage from Mazatlan to Los Murtos. We're sailing. Yeah we are sailing. Day one was full of sailing, then the wind died, then we drifted for 24 hours straight, then we motored for about seven and then we've been sailing the rest of the time all day. Actually covered a lot of ground today unfortunately it's not where we want to go. We want to go west. We're heading kind of south, southwest. Just because the wind's coming right at us. Four o'clock in the afternoon. And we're really hoping to get there by tomorrow. So if the wind does die down, I think we will motor again for a little bit just to make sure we're there tomorrow evening before nightfall. But this is pretty peaceful right now.
just to starboard. Day three brought dolphins, pods of humpbacks, and even a pair of what we believe were blue whales. It is unreal to see these gigantic mammals cruising past our home. I think it's a blue whale. It's the morning of day four our golf crossing it's actually should only be two days we, we turned it into four days because we wanted to sail most of the way it was a really nice night of sailing we weren't going exactly where we wanted to because we were tacking right into the wind but it was still a very comfortable quiet night uh, we're heading pretty much straight north now we need to go west so I'm hoping the wind shifts a bit here and we can start heading to where we need to go but we'll stay on this tack for a little while and then maybe later we can tack back towards land but we'll definitely be there today if the wind dies completely and it looks like we won't get there today we'll start the motor because it doesn't need to go into a fifth day I just woke up it's a very beautiful day out here we sailed all night we didn't think we'd be able to yeah Yay. we're pretty close We can see land off our port side. We have 30 nautical miles to go. Woohoo! How are you guys doing? I feel like I haven't really seen you on camera at all. You exist? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited to get to Los Muertos today? No? Yes, yes, yes. It's been a three-nighter. It's been a three-nighter. How do you feel about that? Better. Better? I wish we were there. I wish we weren't getting there today. You want to go for four nights? Let's go straight to Los Muertos. I really want to see Los Muertos. I don't. You don't? You don't even know what's there. It feels so weird to wake up and it be like warm and dry out here. My last shift I was like bundled up and freezing and my feet felt all damp and ugh, salty. Anyway, I think we're all really excited to get to Murtos today. And I think we're just all really happy that we're sailing. We've sailed a lot this trip. We've also drifted a bit and ran our engine a bit, but overall it's been a really great crossing. The color of the water, you guys. It's amazing. We're in the Baja. Is it recording? Is this our final tack to Los Muertos? Hopefully. Fingers crossed.
lucky time. Yeah, I've been meaning to cook them for three days. <laughs> I was going to do it on the day that we were drifting and then we got so busy exploring the ocean and being chased by sharks that it was forgotten. And then yesterday I couldn't be bothered. So today it is. We are on a nice starboard tack right now, and uh, we're healed a little bit. And I chose this moment to make cookies. Well, actually, I started making cookies just before the wind really picked up. But this is what happens when you make cookies healed over on a sailboat. They all slide <laughs> to one side and become one giant cookie. Not really sure what I'm going to do about that. Eat big cookies. I guess I'll or try and separate them, them out or just something. Just cut them yeah. when they're baked. Oh man. Alright, first batch turned out a little weird. Second batch, used my noggin and I propped up one side in the oven so it's level. like the rough stuff. So it's definitely picked up. We were kind of averaging eight plus knots and we it wasn't very comfortable. The kids were trying to do schoolwork and stuff and we were taking on lots of water on the deck so we dropped our jib and we're just running the stay sail and a reefed main and we caught a fish. Is he still on there? Where did he go? I tried to bring it in. I could have I'm just gonna wait until he ties out a little. Okay. I've just been reading a lot about our sail plan. I think I mentioned earlier, if we got too uh, a bit hairy that we we're gonna drop a sail, we've left the main up and the stay sail and we dropped the Yankee and the boat went from healing at like 10 to 15 degrees and now it's popped up to like five. So that really helped. And we went from like eight knots back to six. That's okay. Maybe. Making quite the splash. What is it? I don't know. It's pretty it's big though, isn't massive. it? Massive! Holy crap! Is it a tuna? I don't know. It's, it's, or a bonito. I think it's a bonito. Does it have teeth? Which ones have teeth? Tiny little ones. Bonito. But it's got a massive eye. Well done, Mick, in the wildest fishing conditions we've ever had. <laughs> hey, gotta be real quick here. We, I checked the wind like five minutes ago and it was 20 knots and now there is zero and the sails are just getting murdered, smacking back and forward. So that's it, we gotta start the engine. What? Just How far away are we? Four miles. Four miles, woohoo! <laughs> Crazy! Let the start of our Sea of Cortez adventure begin. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. The wind has welcomed us. Yeah, it's really windy here. It's, that was a crazy Ow. entrance. He's greedy. He hadn't even got rid of that yet. Was that in his stomach? Yeah, it just fell out of his stomach. Oh my gosh, it's massive. It's bigger than our lure. That's <laughs> Literally. Crazy. Wow. wow. Holy. That's crazy. Find another school. I did. This one's massive. And then what did you find in the fish's head? A squid. <laughs> I'm not gonna it's show like because it's really gross. Squid. Um, let's go. Go this See ya. Love ya. Disamita, disamita, and disamita. How many meals? Uh, one, Four. two, three. Four, Four meals. Four meals. Awesome. And all this meat. Mita, 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 mita. Yep. Lots of meat. Mita. A brief update on mom and dad. They closed on their beautiful new home, a Trans Pack 49. Meraki 2, or M2 as she's referred, is currently in the Caribbean. The goal is to be together for our Pacific crossing in just eight months. Lots of adventures ahead. <laughs> 